I'm going to very quickly show you how to use the helix command in Inventor. Inventor calls it a coil, but the SQA refers to it as a helix. And for that, what we need is a profile um, some distance away from an axis. So I've used the axis that are given in Inventor, so the Y axis, and I've set my profile uh, 20 mil away from that. All I do then is set the coil command. It's picked up the profile. I now need to tell it which axis we want. It's that one there. And it will then jump into a, a preview of our, of our helix. Uh, the um, way we can change that, generally speaking, we would probably go for a pitch and height. Depends on the information you're given in the drawing. So the pitch is the distance between the coils, and the height here obviously is overall height. It's worked out how many coils it needs to, to meet that. Otherwise, you might have um, a pitch and maybe a number of revolutions that you've been given. Either way, once you've selected what you want, Press OK and you've got your helix created. You can also use a tool to add or subtract from um, other other parts. So I've got a, um, a cylinder in the middle here. So if I go back to my coil now and edit it, I can I can change this here to subtract, and it will subtract that that coil from the other shape. So you don't just have to use the the helix to um, create a standalone um, element. You can use it to modify other parts.